Okay. Oh goodness gracious. So today is <laughs> today is ooh, uh what's today? Um Friday, December the 30th, I believe 2023. So I just got out of my hotel. So it's taking me a couple hours to get into my next hotel that I'm checking into. When I had to leave the hotel, it was one of my disappointed video about that. I had to leave my hotel because I liked it, it was wonderful, but I just had no choice because I need to move closer to where I need to be. So um I had to move. Basically I had to leave. There was I had to leave. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. And so I had like the hotel wasn't them, it was just I it wasn't it was, some, it was just I had to leave. I'm just like that, you know. So they were wonderful, most of them. So it was just fine. I had to leave because mostly I need to be close to where I need to be. So that's why I had to leave. So um, I had to take me, you know, my check-in is not until later. So I'm just sitting right now in my car. It's funny. I'm sitting in my car. So I got all my stuff. Like I'm told you, I'm like the Israelites. When we're Israelites and we're traveling <laughs> from the promised land, you know, trying to get to the promised land. God promised them the promised land, you know, man, flowing milk and honey. You know, you're going to have the house you didn't build. And you didn't plan. I mean, he's got, you know, he owns the whole thing. And, and so I'm just laughing because if you look at me, like, it looks like homeless, like homeless. But you know what? I'm laughing because it like it makes a point, kinda in a in a sense. It kind of makes a point, and the point that it makes, like look around at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> all my stuff is just piled. Like I'm like the Israelites walking through the wilderness. So the point I'm trying to make is that it kind of makes a point in a sense because it's like think like from eternal perspective i mean really i mean it's a nice day i'm not dying i'm okay i'm fine so even the worst case scenario if you have to go through something like that and hope that you know as people you know i hope you're all covered but like is it really a major big i mean you know it's like look at it from eternal perspective i mean god is the creator of the whole universe and if you're his child you know he got you you know what I'm saying? So even if you sometimes may have to go through something that's more challenging, if that's for the case for you, which really I'm totally, I'm totally, I'm totally, I got a little drink here. I'm totally fine. I think it's funny because it looks can be deceiving. And sometimes you can't tell the book, book by its cover. You know what I'm saying? So, so I think it's funny, but the, it makes a point. Like at the same time, you know, Jesus was out there pre preaching to the people, you know, back in those, that was like 2000 years ago. That was a long time ago. But it's like, Jesus, he's God's son. He can do, you know, he can call angels down from heaven if he wants to and to do whatever he needs to do. Because he's God, he's God's the most powerful being in the universe. So it just makes a it makes a point that sometimes you may have to experience things temporarily that may look a certain way and may or may not necessarily be that way. But it doesn't change the fact that your God loves you, that you're called, that you're blessed, that you have an awesome destiny. It just means that sometimes you may have to temporarily go through things, you know. For whatever, you know, that's just to make a point. What I'm trying to say is that looks can be deceiving, and sometimes you may have to face things that in life you know whatever it may be not necessarily because i'm checking in a couple of hours anyway but even if i didn't like is it really that major like i'm okay i'm warm i'm covered it's a nice day the sun is shining i have everything i need right here and yes you want you know believe god and i know he's got that but even if like take the fear so to speak of like you know what what's the worst case scenario is going to happen to me no matter what happens to you okay the worst thing that happens to you god still got you you know what i'm saying he still got you because i mean if worst customer what if you you know die or in anything like you're gonna go to heaven if you're sick so it's like think of it from a big perspective so it kind of like makes a point like if you turn to jesus and you you do the right thing ultimately it will work out for your good in the end you may go through times in the you know obstacles in your life that you know like i was watching that movie a couple of weeks a couple of months ago any other state will spend ever seen that and if you watch it it's like if you because i you know i've seen i was like several months ago when i watched it but it's kind of like you know, sometimes you just go through moments where, you know, it's just not perfect. It's not this perfect little Christmas scene all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because that's life. You know, sometimes life is not always, that's how my turn well. You know, life is not, you know, it's not Hollywood all the time. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you may just go through moments. And if you watch a movie, that's what happens in the movie. There's not always happy, happy, happy moments throughout the movie. As a matter of fact, when I teach my students about story map elements, if you were watching a movie or you read a book and everybody's happy in the beginning, everybody's happy in the middle, everybody's happy in the end, it's boring. You don't watch that. So, what that's the same thing as life you know sometimes when we go through problems you know the main characteristic of story elements is that the main the whole story is centered around the main problem if the story doesn't have a problem then really what's the point of watching so to speak you know one thing you're not going to have problems in life obviously you know you want jesus to die we have life more abundantly and, and i'm sitting on the promise of blessing the lord says blessing the lord make it rich upon the blessing no sorrow to it but what i'm trying to make is that sometimes you may have to like in a movie there's high points there's actually you know the climax the highest point of the movie where the most exciting adventures happen when it starts slowing down and then the problem is solved it's a happy ending in the end so there's action there's problems that happen some, some sides you know your side wins sometimes sometimes the other side wins you know what i'm saying so in a fight you know sometimes you get some good points in sometimes the other side gets a few good punches in you know it's just like that's just what happens in amidst of life sometimes you know what i'm saying and sometimes some of us and i, and I, and I pray and i Claim that for myself because probably lunch is in your tongue. And when the second problem I'm standing on, the first one is I see she was just together the Amos, and the second one is that, that um 
blessing will make it rich if only blessing no sorrow to it so you know and the third one is how blessed will the blessed curse is the rush and that's a big one and the fourth one is because the energy of peace with you and the last one is anything i've given up for jesus christ i get back much more in this life and life to come and there's one i just sort of see don't i believe god for it as well what i'm trying to, trying to say is that even in like a movie sometimes it's high points low points you know even the bible says sometimes there's times of rest sometimes there's times of war sometimes there's times when god gives you rest from your enemies you know it just depends but jesus said in this life you sometimes will have trouble be of good cheer i've already overcome the world you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like he's already overcome every problem that we're ever going to have so you can just chill like god got you i'm telling you even like the world says that's why i love being american because america has programs in place for us you have to go through times like this you know the enemy is crazy and you're gonna miss all of that up and you're getting all of that but i'm saying like America has programs, that's why America's one of the greatest countries in the world, in my opinion, because if everybody does their job and it falls smoothly, there's programs in place. If you have to temporarily rely on, you know, assistance sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Or you have to, you know, you know, if you have, you know, counseling, if you need to have, you know, whatever it is, it's like all these, if everybody does their job smoothly, then everything flows smoothly, you know what I'm saying? There's, it actually makes it a really wonderful country. It makes it really wonderful because these systems are in place you know you go to college you get a degree you make your life better you don't have to stay in the same place if you don't want that's why jesus what did jesus say i came to heal the sick raise the dead um preach the gospel to the poor you know so to speak accurately like you know what i'm saying like you don't have to stay where you are I and mean, he did say the poor will be with you always you know he did say that in one scripture but he also said i came to preach the gospel to the poor so like i'm saying see first can we have this right everything you need yet so it's like do you have to be a good travel in the world so anyway i was kind of funny because i'm laughing because it's funny these two women sit next to me like, like out in their car these two african-american girls and they just, they just try they try to look like you know we're not gonna watch her but it's kind of funny because i was laughing like okay <laughs> this is the second time like because i've been trans you know i've been transferring i'm going to hotel because i you know i just i just got back in houston like maybe two weeks ago i'm trying i'm in the process right like i said i'm kind of like the israelites israelite real israelites traveling in the wilderness trying to get into the promised land so, I think it's kind of funny, but God got this. So I'm gonna do, you know, what I'm gonna do for a couple hours. I'm gonna check in my hotel later. It's all good. But that's where I mean, you know, what I'm saying, thinking from that perspective. So, anyway, once I check in, I'll do an update. God is good. <laughs>